Hello, my name is Melanie Berry and I'm the Early Learning Director for Davison Community Schools. The purpose of this video is to inform our preschool parents of soon-to-be kindergartners about what to expect for the transition to kindergarten. We know this is a big step for students and parents. We want to help you through this process and make the transition to kindergarten as smooth as possible. You will meet the principals of Thompson, Hill, and Seiple Elementary. Each of them will give you some tips about kindergarten and setting your child up for success. Hello, my name is Melissa Williams and I am the principal at Thompson Elementary. Thompson is an early learning building that includes four developmental kindergarten classes, 11 kindergarten classes, and an early childhood developmentally delayed classroom. We are the only building in the district that houses developmental kindergarten and I'd like to take a moment to tell you about that program. Developmental Kindergarten, or DK, is a program for kindergarten age students that allows for the gift of an extra year for students to develop socially and emotionally while still being challenged academically. Our DK students follow the same schedule as our kindergarten students. Michigan law states that a child entering kindergarten must be five years of age by September 1st of the year they enroll. However, students that will be five years old by December 1st may attend if the school is provided written notification. Students eligible for DK must have birthdays between June 15th and December 1st. I have seen positive results from the DK program, not only professionally, but personally as well since my, my daughter went to the program. Hello, my name is Jen Burke and I'm the principal at Hill Elementary. At Hill, we house two sec sections, each of kindergarten through fourth grade. There are two topics that I'd like to share with you to prepare your child for kindergarten. The first would be to recommend that you work on consistency with bedtime routines. 11 to 12 hours of sleep is recommended for your child's age. A great way to plan for this is to work backwards from the time your child has to get up in the morning. So if your child has to have a seven o'clock wake up time to be ready to get to school, they should be going to sleep somewhere between seven and 8 p.m. the night before. This is really important to start before coming to school. Full day kindergarten is a big adjustment. The second topic that I'd like to talk about is technology use. Experts in the field do not recommend handheld devices or even video games at this age due to children's developing brains. The recommendation for children ages three to five would be one hour of nonviolent television. Incorporating activities like reading, playing games, taking turns, playing outside, having conversations, and limiting technology use will also be beneficial for your child as they begin kindergarten in the fall. Hello, I'm Christy Flowers. I proudly serve the Davidson Community Schools as principal at Seipel Elementary. At Seipel, we are the home of the Seipel Stars with students in kindergarten through fourth grade with three classrooms of each grade level. I love having my students start with us in kindergarten and grow with us through the fourth grade. I have the pleasure of sharing the top 10 things you can do to prepare your child for kindergarten. Number 10, teach your child independence, including walking into school independently on the first day. This is very important because we have up to 27 children on in one classroom and we want to make sure that they are able to manage hanging up their backpacks, walking to their chair, and just taking care of themselves in an independent manner. Of course, we do teach this as we go along, but we'd like to get them started out strong. Number nine, as Mrs. Burke mentioned earlier, please limit technology exposure, especially video games or internet content that is not intended for children. They are awfully young and have a hard time discerning between what is uh, appropriate to say and if they are not exposed to it, that helps take that away right away. Number eight, begin having conversations with your child about school. Your positive thoughts about them going to school helps them feel positively about school. We invite you to consider visiting the school playground over the summer just so that they get used to being there. Number seven, help your child develop a love of books and a basic understanding of reading by reading with them 15 minutes a day. This gives them a jump start and they start to love and appreciate books and reading early on. Number six, provide opportunities to draw, color, write, and cut. This helps the children develop fine motor skills that are needed when they're in school. 
Number five, help your child prepare to eat lunch independently at school. Yogurt cups are great, but they can be tricky to open. Help them practice opening those as well as snack bags or storage containers that you might put in your child's lunch. Number four, teach your child their first and last name. That might seem something that you are, are already thinking about, but sometimes we have children that come to school that don't know their name, and it really helps us to have that already learned before they come to school. Number three, begin establishing routines during the summer to help them prepare for the school schedule. If you wait until the weekend before or the week before, they will not already have that established fully, and they might come to school awfully tired. As Mrs. Burke said, the, the first couple days of kindergarten can be exhausting, and we want them to be as well rested as possible. Number two, please make sure that your child is toilet trained. Again, 27 kindergartners in a classroom with one adult, your child needs to be able to snap snaps and zip zippers and all those things that are important to be able to do independently. Number one, we are excited to invite you to bring your child to Kindergarten Roundup. It is April 17th through the 21st at Thompson Elementary. You can call now to register at 810-591-0911. Thank you so much for watching this presentation. All of us look forward to meeting you and our new students. 